we we discussed about consumer rights yeah okay yes and yeah uh, providing the service to customers and uh, sale of good act in consumer protection from unfair trading regulations okay yes good um, yeah complaint management good yeah and we also discussed about uh, design in risk management yes yeah these are the things i remember little bit then great we discuss about risk we discuss about consumer right we discuss about sales good act 1979 and we discuss about communication seven c's i mentioned you supposed to see what those are seven c's concept so we discuss about role of effective communication in customer relationship management yeah so okay fat uh, sorry and did we learn anything we, we also looked at teams yes we learn about team we also looked at the um cost con the consumer buying behavior and decision making we can we looked at um let me see yes we well, discussed before it. then we looked at the importance well customer relations importance to the industry we looked at the different functions um yes i think uh, i think we also discussed little bit about communication uh communication or business business decision making or something like yes. that yes yes we discussed yes we discuss about business uh, role of communication in business yeah and uh, Uh, anything else anything else you remember we learn technology the technology so we do the technology as yet yes we discuss about technology yes customer satisfaction yes well done Yes, we discuss about customer satisfaction. And we discuss about complaint management. How we yeah. can manage complaints and compliance procedure we discuss as well. Yeah. Okay, let's will start our lesson today. we are going to can you see online yeah yeah can you see screen yes yeah yes okay good so let's we'll start so today lesson we are going to discuss about we'll discuss about introduction to legislation which we did last lesson but our discussion will be a bit recap on these legislation our major focus will be today on discussion will be on licensing what are licensing laws how we can and why we need a license to start a and especially role of licensing in a strategy business so we'll discuss these legislation we'll discuss role of communication and 7 c's concept which we left you know so we'll go through and then we'll go through assignment brief and we'll discuss you know and recap our all our learning outcome which we supposed to address according to our assignment brief as well so we'll go through couple of journal articles and those we need to be address you know in our um, 
in assignment you know those i'll go through each point with you as well so licensing laws so think about license why we need a license uh, it is the most uh, foremost important thing before we start any business i think yes to ensure that we comply with the rules and the laws it's yeah. a kind of uh, it's a kind of actually it is a permission to do the business i mean permission the offer authorities great yes you right so we'll today moving about and our area of discussion will be one of our point which is left to be discussed which we need to be focus licensing of tourism and hospitality businesses what type of think about what type of license we required license for the bar yes we need a license for the bar um, uh, i think license we need a general license for all i mean food and beverages uh we need a license for uh, i think for the premises we think we, we might need license for the music we we, need, we might need the license for the uh for the televisions we might have or something like that i think the channel yes, service provider from there yes so we need a license so without mm -hmm. license if we work we are um, not obeying the law and we could be penalized as well yeah so and with a, law, with a license we have a condition involved so those condition we need to be must we need to fulfill those condition mm -hmm. and if it's a, if it's a franchise i think we also need a license from the franchise company isn't it yes so we we can a joint venture or franchise license that's a arrangement between you know the businesses but we need to follow the license from the local government or local council we need to be yeah. get the license to start we need a license from food i we need a license from health and safety like you know first aid license and those sort of training those need to be in place mm -hmm. so i uh, yes selling alcohol or all sort of you know drink so we need to be a license without license in uk can be fine up to 20000 pound 6 month imprisonment or banned for 5 years oh so licensing activity includes selling alcohol serving hot food drink between 11 pm till 5 am you also need a license if you are uh, provide the following type of entertainment trend mm. like you know different music performance dance art whatever showing a film indoor sporting events boxing wrestling live music recorded music dance facilities for making music or dancing facility all we need a license there we need a license if we are running um, a gambling or those sort of you know the games and some games those are techniques involved those we need don't need a license like uh, putting coin in a machine but lot of others we need a license for it to be operate otherwise we can fine you mean you mean for like something like casinos uh, yes casino we must need a license as well mm -hmm. Okay, restriction. You must be 18 or over to apply a premises license. If we want to start a business and we need a premises license to be authorized premises for the business, the person need to be 18 plus. Need to be a sound minded. I can understand what is term and conditions involved. Exemption. Don't need a license for some types of. entertainment including educational or promotional film film shown as a part of exhibition in a museum or gallery or dental some sort of a music life or recorded recorded one we don't need a license objective 
of license, flexible opening hour for bars, pubs, clubs, preventing crime and disorders, promoting public safety and protecting children. That's all objective of the license. Men provision of act, we need to be look around that we have a qualified person in and what type of license. Council provide the statement of general licensing approach. New persons to permit supply of alcohol will cost about 30 pound renewal every 10 years. New premises license cost between 100 to 500 depend on the size and the venue. Police scrutiny of application, we need a license for it. Local people can hire their stay. So impact of new laws, there are different new legislations. What we need to be, we need to think about the impact on the local, how the police have a power, council can get, and the business can be a licensing system. So local authority, I'm just talking about in terms of the UK, of course, you know, you're from country legislation. Yeah. Couple, couple of these legislation quite seem, seems, you know, quite similar in other part of the world as well. Yeah. So, so these legislation, Royal sent in July 2003, licensing for premises that sell alcohol, put a life entertainment. There are the timing. So like in the UK, they said they used to be from uh, um, morning till 12 o'clock night, uh, 2 o'clock night used to be drinking. Then they changed the law to be 24-7. But then the local council need to be authorized that how much, you know, the uh, allowed. When, then suddenly the crime rate increased. Then the police object and they put the restriction on opening and closing timing of bar. Okay. So we need to be follow, we need to look around, you know, what the new legislation. Bar Entertainment Dance Association says that we on the, are the was social experiment. We need to look around their legislation, live music and entertainment. I'm not going through all, but just, you know, you can. These legislation we need to we need to keep in mind the stakeholder interest. Licensing licensing act two thousand three in the UK involve all the, these activities. Uh, then we need to look around the premises required license, pub and nightclubs, half license shops, you know, selling alcohol, restaurants serving business selling hot food, soft uh, uh, or the cold drink. Uh, hotel, guest houses, provision of the public entertainment, theater, all and so uh, It's a, in UK is a licensing at uh, 2003 normal follow and we manage houses, pubs, all need the license to operate. So common practice, so license need to be renewed after it's normally expiry one to three years. No, they, there are common fixed term can be five to 21 year, but net effect can be net agreement between from long term or short term or mortgage. Those we need a license as well. So lease renewable, all these we need to be a license as well. Then there is a, there is a video. Let me try it. little bit watch if we can. This is about the life and see. Oh. Yeah. I think so. They remove the video, not there now anymore. Sorry. So I put it again. Try the second one. All about the licensing as well. Oh, sorry, I think so. someone removed these videos link because it's quite old my slides. Okay, 
no worries i'll i'll try to be upload you know something new for you so freehold we need a license not owned by the brewery or the pubs company so we need a license as well for it there are so many clubs we need a license member of clubs night clubs all they need a license hotel need a license as well restaurant need a license uh, unaccomplished children prohibited on these premises so we need to be obeyed if we don't otherwise can be uh, yes sales of the children that's uh, happen in the uk under 18 some shops been found used to sell you know cigarettes and drink under 18 or 16 even so that those are not allowed to sell a license we need a personal license mean a license which is granted by the licensing authority to individual who will be responsible for it that's again the one person's name it can be on the company then we have a security guard license as well who will be the security guard and all you know the fire license ambulances those sort of things you know we need a license for it as well so licensing authority duty to be update club premises certificate we need a license to conduct it of the license premises gambling there are different act you know we need to be look around then we have other weight and mayor and we say you know like different sort of we need to be follow the glass sizes we need to be not use the glass in different we need to follow the weight so those sort of you know the things we need a license for it as well under the weight and mayor act 1963 in uk is it make sense Mm -hmm. uh, miscellaneous license like we already discussed gaming license england scotland and north northern ireland have a licensing as well prevention of the crime and disorder that's the major purpose in these all three curing public safety and promotion of public safety so slightly the words different but all you know they need a license key objective of the license pro protecting children from the harm need a fair treatment of the stakeholders we need to protection of the kids all in england wales scotland and ireland have a different you know licensing requirements music dance and theater have a different requirement we need to look around the license act 2003 defines you know licensable activities so those we need to be managed and run under the license. Next, we're looking at the communication. Any question about licensing? No. So to address this learning outcome, so please, when you do your, you can look around the licensing of tourism and hospitality businesses, and you can discuss about types of license and type of the businesses where we need a license. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we are looking now, we discuss about communication in our last lesson, but we we left, you know, to discuss about the seven C's. So today our focus will be on the seven C's. Effective communication is a two ways. We discuss sending the right message and to the right person. It is important to know the psychology of the people and interact with them and for the communication to be effective, it is a crucial to know the circumstances and the counter entities. Um, effective communication includes the aspect of visual, auditory, kinesthetic. What is meant by visual, auditory, and kinesthetic? These are three learning styles. If we are, you know, some people, they are quite visual. They see things and they can learn quicker. Some people not understand the message. Some auditory, they just listen. Some people, they do kinesthetic by doing something. Yes, they like to doing, they do writing and things. So when we deliver the message, we need to be engaged them or we need to design the activities according to their learning style. That's why we, do, we conduct normally questionnaire to identify the learning style first and then we do properly and we 
do communication according to their learning style to be reach in and deliver the message effectively effective communication is a which produce intended desired result you want to be deliver your message you want to sell you want to convey you want to persuade your message we learn about in marketing ada principle our message in a business or promotion can be attention interest desire and action so we want to be the audience listen desire and they buy our goods so that's why we need to be very crucial to be effective communication so we need effective communication use of effective communication effective communication will help to understand the personal situation in a better it's a, enable to be solve the differences build the trust we already discussed in one our lesson so today we'll focus on seven c's so when you design a message to increase the or boost the customer relationship we need to be focus on the seven c's concept seven c's is consist of completeness message need to be complete if your half message not you telling the full story the message are it won't be effective conciseness it's supposed to be to the point consideration we need to be considerate consideration the situation where we are delivering this message clarity we need to be clear in the mind or mentality of the the sender and the receiver correctness the right words are the right level of the words we need to be used to be effective communication courteous so we need to be too much i mean courteous giving respect to the audience correctness so our message need to be correct without any error so we need to be focus and we need to focus on seven c's so completeness communication enhance the communication uh, enhance the reputation of the organization read information always give the additional information yes where the leaves no question these are the complete next we have a conciseness means the communication way to one the convey least possible words least possible words to be communication then we have consideration implies stepping into the shoes there so we put ourselves in other person's shoes like in uh, we keep ourselves in other person situation and we'll see the world and we can understand for the effective communication for the consideration yes which culture they belong to what what sort of understanding they have So if we are not telling them, are we not putting them, are not considering them? We can't uh, deliver effective message. Any question? No. So next we have. Sorry, I think sorry the phone. So next with clarity, emphasize so specific goals and objective and the timing. So different. for different so we need to be look around the time zone we need to look around the message being delivered effectively clarity there help to understand the message easily right we some languages right right to left left to right translation of english can be different meaning in different culture so mm -hmm. those we need to be clear then concreteness Lies be in particular and clear rather than some words, some slogans. Those are you know precise, clear. Those need to be delivered. Courteous, of course. You know we need to respect audience. We not use the words. We need to always give the respect in us. because customer relationship only can be if we are courteous with them if we are not respecting them we can't going to achieve our objective whatever we want to be through effective communication correct net implies the correct information is conveyed through the message so we need to be focus on it so what type of the barrier we have in a communication 
sometimes we have a barrier we not create effective communication so we for effective communication we need a if we have a lack of sensitivity receiver lack basic communication yes insufficient knowledge of the subject in coding barriers we need to look around those how they encode and decode the message formation barrier different channels you know on the internet we are advertising but they don't know how to use properly emails how to write response decoding you know the receivers have a sometime problem there is a middle when we'll send the message here there is a different and the message font is changed are different you know those are the responding barriers can be prevention so we need to be focused on overcoming barriers how we can overcome barriers so we can effective questioning see participation we can checking for understanding we ask the cross question culture sensitive so we need a good cultural knowledge as well to be create the customer relationship management otherwise we not going to be achieve what we supposed to be achieve body languages eye contact gesture motion voice strong all need to be quite crucial for effective communication okay next we next all uh, we do a bit you know this is a i'm not going to do whole quiz with you but i'll just show you please you just play with it it's quite mm -hmm. good there are the legislations and couple of oh, couple of those are generic hope you know them but couple of of course you don't know just a matter of your understanding you can so this is a consumer protection and what do you think what is meant by red tape mm -hmm. red right. i have no idea the more protection rules okay what type of which you, let's you know guess it b check which one essential consumer protection rule or a law first one ah. sorry you said pick the second one okay one reason why the consumer may need to be protect is reason why consumers may need Yes. because threatened by china uh highly com highly competitive threatened <laughs> okay. by china one reason why consumer need to be protect okay no worries let's move the credit consumer act which is apr uh, for the goods bought on it is called annual percentage rate na which one you think is correct yeah is uh, consumer credit act requires and that the yeah. apr is uh, shown for goods about goods bought on credit this is the annual percentage rate annual payment rate average payment rate first one i think yes yeah. annualized or annual percent payment rate or average payment rate or allowed percentage rate yeah. the average payment uh, allowed or uh, the first one second one uh i don't understand you said first one uh consumer no worry just a matter of understanding first one well done correct which law make illegal to mislead customer which law makes it illegal to mislead consumers consumer act sales safety good act which law makes it illegal illegal to mislead customer consumer credit act 
do we give the credit okay let's will try okay which are these must be the food safety act so which of these business must comply with the food safety act when serving consumers ccb island starbucks jcb is uh, river island is a thing. Starbucks. Is a okay starbucks yes well done correct which local authority department is responsible protecting the consumer dealing with the firms competition commission office of fair trading trading standard or which one you think don't worry about of course couple of you don't know because of course office for fair trading Ah. Don't worry. Which national service provide the help and support protection of customers? Uh, day break, citizen, mom's net, citizen advice bureau. Uh, it's a citizen advice. No. No. Okay. Who can decide the business has treated customer badly or unfairly? Off call, office of consumer protection, ombudsman, or office of trading. Second one, office of consumer protection. Basically, uh, I think so. Third one because they change, you know, in the office. UK. Oh. Ombudsman, that's more common now in the world. Which of these in industries in the UK is not regulatory? Energy. I'm sorry. Clothing, telecommunication, energy, and answers water. Answer water. I think what is that answer water? I think this is that is not regulated. Okay. No, I think so. Other industry. We'll go back. Sales good at 1979. Need to be fit for. Fit for. In the UK, uh, we say good. fit for purpose, widely available, new, reasonable price, fit for purpose. Yes, well done, correct. Because you know, good when we we'll buy the goods, if not fit for purpose, they say this good will give you this. We yeah. have a right to return. So, first one was red tape is a law regulation set to be stifle of the business activities. Yes, okay, so they need to follow next. Uh, one why the customer may need to be protected is where an industry is a monopoly so we need a monopoly is a one company so that's why if it's a one company we can't protect that's why we need to protect the consumer interest mm -hmm. yes that was right trade description act yes description of the goods need to be correct we say 10% alcohol, there is a, sorry, 10% sugar in it. Yes, this uh -huh. is a very, the description uh -huh. is wrong, inside is a different thing. Okay. Trading standard, instead of, trading standard, they give the standards, you know. Uh, okay, trading standard. Protect. Citizen advice, yes, ombudsman. Ombudsman. Ombudsman uh, is uh, responsible for uh, consumer uh, unfairly or Yes, because that's a regulatory. Basically, this organization is a watch watchdog. Normally, every organization in the UK, even again, even on the police, if police not treat you well, there is an independent police complaint commission in the UK. So you can mm -hmm. raise a complaint that police not treat you properly. So every department, even in parliament, if the MNA not work, there is an independent parliamentarian watchdog. They can penalize them as well. Mm. Such a such a nice system, you know, fair system, really. Mm -hmm. As long you understand the legislation and you obey the law. Yeah. Uh, 
clothing of course you know no at 100% perfect world everywhere but 90% of course 10% is always area of development okay clothing retail sector normally is a less you know not regulated properly which clothes mm-hmm. which but is, uh, is covered under sales good act but not wash dock is a consumer protection act look around you know you giving the put the mm-hmm. right fit for purpose but not any particular industry really okay and by okay next yes fit for purpose we said well done great because of course you never heard even few legislation still is a 40% yeah. which is a good thing so well done next okay we finish our unit Mm-hmm. what we covered in under this unit we discuss about understanding customer experience we discuss in our lesson customer behavior we discuss about customer function we discuss about developing and maintain the culture customer focus how we can focus i already send you the book as well on these all key terms which we use we discuss one we, uh, one lesson we did on compliant management as well we discuss mm-hmm. conflict how we can manage these conflict within we discuss about technology we discuss quality we discuss team and how we can develop a team effectively we discuss belbian team roles discuss you know and how we can forming norming storming stages of the team building we discuss about licensing and all these we already discuss we discuss different legislation sales good act and various other goods act so i did for you i put a journal under lesson 4 which i already send you mhm so when you do your assignment so please please you all references show you just one second yes you can use the references and read the journal you see at the top you know all the key point in your assignment best practices in achieving the customer focus culture like in our in our assignment we have a if we look here we have a culture you see there where where yes developing and maintain the service culture mhm so i put it journal article for you on culture so when you do your assignment you can pick you know the things from this yes best mm-hmm. practices in achieving the customer focus culture so we need a service culture in our organization based on customer focus mhm then for second one in a same way i put it second one there these are all journal articles if you look here this is creating maintaining reinforcing customer service culture mm-hmm. yes how we can create the service culture within our organization so it's quite good you know why we need to be why is a crucial yes best mm-hmm. practice and next third i put it for you their crm this is customer relationship management mm-hmm. in tourism and hospitality in the state of our so that we we need to be customer relationship management so is a lot of things you can pick it and the different learning outcome what is a crm why we need to be customer loyalty customer retention i guess we look you know our assignment this is we have uh, there is we need to discuss about the yes customer mm-hmm. service we discuss customer satisfaction and loyalty we discuss in hospitality industry so you can pick a lot of things from this which you can use in assignment as well okay then, and for for a, let's say each topic that i write in the assignment do i have to put put the reference 
at the same time below that topic or at last i mean no uh, you to put the little reference like taylor ellis 2006 yes mm -hmm. end of paragraph and you can put full reference this in your reference page you know which you at the end of the assignment uh, okay don't worry it's your first assignment so you just start and uh, like i shown you already and you have i think so recording as well which yeah. i'll resend you recording we you will need to okay and, we discuss about do do i have to send it by email to you or no problem you can send me i'll give you feedback and uh, you can if any amendment need to be you can amend it and resend it huh? okay okay next we discuss about technology service quality customer loyalty hotel industries are in hospitality industry we have one of is about technology if you see here is a technology and customer service mm -hmm. so i put it almost everything those are relevant to you so some legislations i put as well so please you just when you make your assignment go through all these i already send you during our first lesson i send you the book as well this yeah. is the book as well so that's a customer relationship management book yes mm -hmm. so you can use this book you can add your own experience your own organization and just start writing huh? okay any question um not so far next uh, week uh, we will be doing which, uh, which unit yes we doing last our unit contemporary issues ah contemporary not for you for others ah okay of course because you have started late so your course will be finished late as well and it's your next unit if you want to see unit spec before we doing contemporary issues in ism and hospitality and okay. we have yes this is the contemporary issues and and we have social issues we'll discuss we discuss environmental issues we discuss technology issues we'll discuss about review impact on environment of hospitality we we'll discuss about summarize we'll discuss some trend and we'll discuss some societies of the future development we'll discuss about uh, sources of contemporary issues why these issues arise like globalization anti globalization those sort of things we'll discuss and what impact will be on the industry and all these the impact of the tourism in the destination social factors environmental factors like no day security issues and all these as crisis management cultural diversity cultural issues those mm -hmm. all you know gender powers power distance and these sort of things will go through during our lessons as well and okay. then we'll we will finish and we have a few more will join as well okay uh, i think so n has a problem with the internet so she not able to join now i mm. think so uh, due to the connection issue on uh, any, on any any would, any any question mani like um, uh, on 28th of uh, this month that is which is friday yes i might not be online but 